I am Dr. Sundar, Consultant Nephrologist, Head of International Transplant Services of the Manipal Hospitals in Bangalore. See, the, when you do the transplantation, a lot of people come and ask me whether the kidney is matched well. When you talk of matching, there are two types of matching. One is called tissue typing, where we do what is called HLA typing to see whether the person is related or not. When you talk of tissue typing, again, there is a legal implication and there is a medical implication. Legally speaking, we have to do tissue typing to prove somebody is a relative or not. It helps us to prove somebody is a father, a mother or a spouse. A spouse is, uh, cannot, cannot be proved by tissue typing. We need other factors to prove spouse. But the ideal transplant is somebody who is an identical twin, where there is a perfect match. But everybody will not have an identical twin. So by and large, we say an HLA which is matched well. So this can occur when a parent donates, a mother or father donates to a child, or when there is a brother or a sibling or a sister. In that case, the match could be zero or it could be 50 percent or if it's the identical twin, 100 percent. So by and large, we talk of tissue typing, that is one. But in our experience, we don't need to have a perfect match for successful transplantation. In fact, if you look at unrelated transplant, which is going on for the last 30, 40 years, there is no match. The success of transplant has improved because of modern medications. These modern medications like tacrolimus, cyclosporin have made a difference and, and uh, as uh, there are special uh, injections called monoclonal antibodies, thymoglobulin or antibodies. When you use these injections, anti-rejection therapy, match does not come into being. There is one other match which we call as cross match where we take the patient's blood, the white cells of the patient is mixed with the, the donor's serum and see whether those cells are destroyed or not. This is called a cross match. A positive cross match means a donor cannot, that particular donor cannot be taken. So this match is different from so-called tissue matching or HLA matching and this perfect HLA matching is possible only in identical drilling which is not there. But with the advent of modern therapy, there are a lot of new modern drugs, antibody therapy, which can reduce the incidence of rejection. In fact, before 30, 40 years ago, before the drug cyclosporin came in, the success of transplant, the one year success was not even 60%. The kidneys would uh, be lost because of rejection. With the new advent of new medications, the success of transplant has improved phenomenally to reduce rejection. Nevertheless, rejection is a problem in transplant. In fact, the the graft or the kidney loss in transplant occurs because of rejection. This rejection can occur on the first day which is called or the first week or a few months called acute rejection or it can occur after many months or years called chronic rejection. But as the number of years goes by, the transplant kidney starts adapting itself. We call this as adaptation and the body starts tolerating. So there's two issues. One is adaptation, tolerance comes in and the transplant kidney keeps going and the medication dose comes down. But there are new therapy is coming in where they are trying to do what is called as bone marrow transplant along with kidney transplant and trying to remove off the uh, medications and see that tolerance increases. These are new technologies which are coming up. Maybe sometime down the line, the success would still improve with these new therapies.